it's that time of year now where it's coming to autumn and I kind of thrift my own wardrobe or closet and I look for items that are looking a bit tired or haven't worn in a long time and how I can you know refashion them so I came across this top and I haven't worn it a while and one of the reasons why I bought it is because of this lovely detail here with these zips on the shoulder it's not looking too tired um, but it needs zhuzhing up so to speak now the sleeves I'm using sleeves for this to can revive it is what I did in a previous project which is here and that is gorgeous yeah and that is also something else that I'm that I'm thrifting for my own closet wardrobe so I have the sleeves here and I'm trying my best to use every single bit of this of these sleeves so without cutting it I mean I'm trying my best when it comes to these refashioning to use as much of the garment that I can and if I don't then I'll save it for another project and then I try to minimize the waste that I would possibly have from anything that I want to give um, a bit of attention to to, to another garment without the garment looking ridiculous um, so you do have to be careful there is going to be times where there is going to be waste but try and make it as minimum I think I will be able to use both of these sleeves without any waste whatsoever so let's get started hello fashion sewers I hope you are well if you are new to my channel I'm Colleen G Lee okay so here are the sleeves so I've actually unpicked one sleeve I am going to make it's going to be an asymmetrical approach to this project and the other sleeve I'm going to keep intact and I'm going to create a uh, how do, how do, I'm not sure how to describe it a a sleeve within a sleeve <laughs> basically is what I'm going to do um, there's going to be a lot of hand sewing in this and um, I'm looking forward to that but first of all what I need to do is try on the top I do have safety pins and also some straight pins that I'm going to be using maybe even some wonder clips I don't know it's going to be difficult um, obviously because I am pinning on myself so it can be tricky especially if I'm you know need to be able to pin towards the back of myself so let's get started. Let me try it on this top and let's see where we are going to start. Okay, here is the jumper top. It's a little bit more. Okay. So I don't want to hide any of this detail here. This is what I like. And it's going to be a case of getting the sleeve I've opened out. So that's a shape and then place it on my body onto my top like that. That's so nice. Design idea. I want it to be asymmetrical. So what I'm going to do is put it across my body like so. That's nice. That's nice already. Yeah, that's nice. I want to create one or two kind of gathers or tops and pleats. Oh, that's nice. Let's see. Down here. nice. So I think I'm creating on that kind of shape I think. Yeah work with it. And there we go. Right so I'm going to put a pin here. Where are my pins? 
one moment I just have to get my pins. I've got my clicks, but I didn't get my pins. This is not going to do. It's not going to work. Let's just see. Yeah, it, it works. But I'm going to get my pins. Okay, so all this around here is going to be hand sewn all the way around to the back. Right, okay. It's fine, it feels comfortable. Yep, now for the sleeve. Gosh, how. Right, so let me try on this side. Well, goes to this side and it on my left arm. I don't know whether that's because I'm right handed or. Hmm. So, what I'm going to do is pull this sleeve up like so, so it's got the ruche effect. That's nice. Oh, that is gorgeous. And then I am going to just sew there to there. That's it. So you can actually see the gaping of the armhole. Oh, that looks nice. It really does. It just needs a lot of hand sewing. So I have to. Because this will come down if I don't secure it, so it's going to have to hands the hand sewn into place. That is nice. I don't want to cover that detail there. That's fine. I, I kind of like it on this side, but I also like on that side as well. <gasps> I'm not make my mind up. Oh, come on, Cody, make your mind up. Right, let me try it on the other. Oh. Reach up. Mm. I do like it in that one as well. I've got a decision to make which arm um, I'm going to put this on. You'll find out towards the end of the video. I won't say right now which one I prefer. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to stitch this into place. So I need to get started now because it's going to be a lot of hand sewing to do. That's gorgeous. Okay. Taking it off and let's see how this turns out. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you haven't already, then please do so. It will help my channel to grow. And also as part of my channel, I have lots and lots of sewing technique that will help you complete your project. Let's get back to the video. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of hand sewing involved in this project. So I'm starting with the sleeve, the slip on sleeve, and I'm going to turn it over twice. So I get a nice, neat, finished looking edge. And then I'm going to 
use a slip stitch to slip to enclose that raw edge. And just keep going until I get to the other end. That's going to take. Yeah, I think I should be able to hand stitch this, get my hand in there, and then sew it to. Yeah, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I've got one finished edge here. Yeah, that's just a case of putting lots of pins around and basting to make sure that I get this into place but it's possible I may just leave this end open I may just turn that first I shall see at the moment that's looking good yeah it's looking good so I think the best thing for me to do with this one is to pin and then baste it into position I don't want any movement in there so I'm start at the back and placing some pins so I haven't pinned this section here I'm just going to leave that until the last so it's pinned into place and it's this case of basting to baste it all the way around so I'm going along the edge around to the back up and all the way to this point here I have completed all my hand sewing. I've done a slip stitch, hidden all that raw edge. So that's now ready to be attached on the main body. That's attached apart from this section here. I'm going to have to put the pin in again to get that lovely little top detail that's pleating detail happening there and that's the back so that's all sewn into place by hand so all I need to do now is try it on again and then I'll have a little bit more hand sewing to do which is going to be this area and on the top of the sleeve and the bottom of the sleeve so let's try this on okay so it is Just turn on to the back. Okay, that's good. Now all we need to do is to get this to lie the way I want it to. So that's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's, that's good. It's just getting this to lie the way I want it to. That's nice. Now time for the sleeve. Right. Did you guess which side I was going to decide to have it on? The cover sleeve. I might ruche this ball to where I'd like it to be. Yeah, that's not, yeah. That is gorgeous. All I'm going to do is hang so from here to here. You just put some pins in there to indicate 
I'm going to paint a full length mirror here so bear with me for a moment. Yeah, I'll say about here. I've got a centre line I can see over there. I do the same on that side. I won't work it on that side. Yeah. So, okay, I will show you the finished results once I have hand sewn those into place. And I'm also going to sew here as well, hand sew here, so that this stays up. Because I'm sure it will come down, won't it? Yeah, I don't want to keep reaching it up, so yeah. A little bit more hand sewing and then I will be done. Here it is, the hand sewing is all done. Look at that sleeve, <laughs> so amazing, so sculptural. So I'm gonna try it on and let you have a look. Let me just turn it on the wrong side. So that's the front and that's the back. And I'll turn it to the wrong so you can have a look. I'll bring the camera down because I think it'd be easier to do it that way. Going to bring the camera down? Maybe not. Yeah, I think I will. So the inside is nicely finished off. This is the back. And this is the front where the sleeve is, the slip on sleeve. Yeah, that's it. Nice, neat, professional, clean finish to the inside. Okay, now it's time for me to try it on. It's now complete. All the hand sewing is now done. the back. That's gorgeous. It has worked. I love this sleeve. Oh. Yeah, that's going nowhere. Oh, it's cute little detail that's happening here. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah, that's a, that's a good project. No waste whatsoever. Both sleeves have been used. Nothing's been cut away. That's really nice. That is so gorgeous. Back. Yeah, happy with the results. I really am. I'll just show you the sleeve. project happy with the results it's gorgeous some tips to share with you is it possible to do this by a sewing machine yes it is the main section yes um, if you want top stitch or edge stitch that is possible the sleeve you may have a bit more problems with if you're going to try to sew it by sewing machine you can, this section here, um, but I just love the, the, the roll that's happening here, um, which you wouldn't necessarily be able to get with a sewing machine. Perhaps you could do if you, if, if you use um, a certain type of foot, but it was worth all the hand sewing. You may struggle to get this section sewn by machine. Um, so yeah, is it possible for the whole garment? I personally wouldn't say yes. But definitely the body part, you can. The sleeve you will definitely struggle with. Um, and it really just depends on how 
you want to construct it because you can actually open up the sleeve both of the sleeves and have it flat and do it that way and you can work on a sewing machine that way so it's not impossible it's just about the look that you want to go for and what you're trying to achieve with your project and also time scale if i mean this did take some time for for me to sew it by hand but the results are amazing and i know that i will be wearing it for many many years to come so that's kind of the payoff that you have to consider when you are refashioning clothing and um, the fact that I spent um, a group of hours hand sewing and I'm doing it for you guys um, so there's a memory with it the reasons why um, when I do wear it I know that this was on my YouTube channel and I'm doing it for you to show you what you can do when um, you know you don't have to throw away your garments you can refashion them as you know this is a very old top and this was thrifted and I managed to get another garment out of the main body of these sleeves and it's just it's just amazing I'll show up now <laughs> anyway um so yeah so it is it is possible um definitely do a lot of pinning and basting and you get the results that you're looking for so if you enjoy this project please give it a thumbs up and please do share it on your social media if you haven't already subscribed please think about doing so it really helps support my channel especially if you've been watching for some time and you haven't subscribed yet then please do so i will be totally and utterly grateful thank you and i'll see you next time